Hi, I'm Wilson Curry. Welcome to Antiques Country. And today I'm standing on this overlook high above Blue Mountain Lake here in the beautiful Adirondack Mountains in northern New York. And every year late in September, these mountains play host to one of the most unique antique shows in the country, featuring rustic old lodge furniture, vintage canoes, pack baskets, moose heads, and more in the Adirondack style. Now the show officially opens tomorrow, but we've come in ahead of time so we can share all the behind the scene activities with you. This 19th century full-figured and carved mountain goat uh, retains 90% of its original paint. I see they've called it Billy, and uh, they say it's rare and it's priced just over $8,500. Well, I volunteered to pull this uh, slightly carved piece of wood out of the back of this van. I'm going to help carry it over to a bearskin rug. Well, one thing we've established is it's very old, it's very beautiful, it's very heavy, and it's $48,000. Jerry, you are uh, one of the show promoters yes. with your partner, uh, Michael, Michael Gannon. Michael Gannon. And uh, Jerry, tell us about this. Is this the best show of all? Well, of course. They're all, be they're all <laughs> the best, aren't they? Well no, well, no, this one really is. We, uh, we do about 15 of them a year, but this is my favorite. It's been my favorite for years. Um, I grew up in the Adirondacks. Well, so. you have a good reason to have this show here. Exactly. Jerry, how many years have you done the Adirondack actually? This is our seventh year. Um, okay. In 1991, um, we did it as a cooperative thing for the museum because they wanted to have a, an antique show, a one-shot deal, mm -hmm. uh, to celebrate the centennial of the mm -hmm. Adirondack Park. Okay. And it was such a success after the first year, we just made it an annual event. Well, what do you think it is about the Adirondack antiques and the rustic furniture that really oh, is I caught think, on? I think it's that uh, lodge look. And most people have are building second homes now. A lot of people are going for the log look. People love to be in the mountains and have a, a home that's that's set in the woods, that kind of thing. And that appeal is is nationwide now. So people now come from all over the country looking for this material. Well, we're here, and we're also <laughs> glad we are. I we am really glad you're thank here you as very well. much, thank sir, you. for letting us come and get in here and do this. Really appreciate thank you it. So much. See you soon. You bet. Yes. Okay, I want to see the ninja that throws this, all right? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Whoa! Catch that in the forehead. That's not going to be good. Yeah. Oh, the moose. I wanted to see the moose. I noticed that you have a lot of moose here. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's let's scoop it. What is the plural of moose? Mace? <laughs> What's the plural of moose? Say mooses. Mooses. But, but what? then again, deer. What's the plural plural of deer? Deer. Many deers. Many deers. Yeah. What's so the plural many, of moose? Many moose. Many moose. Okay, we've established that. How much is a moose worth? The the heads. Well, let's talk about the main guy himself. Oh, the full, the life size full, mount. Moose here. Mm. You know, there's a lot, uh, a lot of hidden expense that you, you have to factor into something. Right. It's just not a matter of what did you pay at point B or point A. To get okay, them. I don't know where we're going with this one. This is good dancing. Let me ask you this: How are moose sales? Fine. Okay. Fine. <laughs> moose heads are very popular. Ken Sieber, the Moose Man, here at the Adirondack Antique Show. Thank you.